Hello YouTubers. In this video, we're going to build this one. This is a sensor and uh, remotely this SIM module can transmit data to the internet. Before we do it again, I will show you how it works. This ultrasonic sensor measures the distance. This microcontroller takes the distance and pass it to the SIM module. The SIM module straight away transmit to the internet. It goes straight to the internet. This laptop connected to the internet. When I refresh it, I can see it's seven centimeter. Now I change the distance a little bit lower about four or five centimeter and we will see. Uh, I refresh it. Previously it was about seven centimeter. Now the last one is five centimeter. Now the graph is here. I've been running for some time. So it's going up and down. The last one is five centimeter. Here you have two options to select the date and refresh and you, get, you can get different date data. And uh, here you can select a date and download you will have Microsoft Excel file. So click download. And it will open Microsoft Excel and you'll get the data. So all the data are here. Let's build this. To make it easy for you, I have provided all the details how to create the free web server and do the ESP32 wiring and the coding everything in here. Let's go there. Here, there is some information about the module. You can read through. Uh, when we go below, uh, I have given five steps to follow. First step is creating a free web server. Second step is to do a wiring connection to ESP32. Third step to do the Arduino code upload. Fourth step is in the web browser, how to uh, visualize the data and the graph. The fifth one is how to download the Microsoft Excel file and do the editing. Start from the first step. For that, we need to go to the this web address. And uh, from here, we can create a free web server. And I have typed awardspace.com and uh, here click free sign up and go below and uh, put your name and uh, type your email address. Uh, password, uh, type a new password. Uh, you can remember and uh, Register now. After you after you click the register now button, you go to the your uh, go to your email, and immediately you have the email confirmation confirmation email. Open that email and uh, click the confirm your account link. This one. And uh, after that, you log out and log in again. Click log out button and uh, put the same email address and the same password and log in again. Now click the hosting tools and domain manager. Click the domain manager and uh, go below. Create a 
free subdomain and in here in this area you type your a subdomain name you like i i type m o h i d w n this one and create it's created successfully sometime if you try this one you will get an error message that somebody already taken this one so try something different and uh, this yeah it's gone the, the this one whatever you typed up until at webpage.com write it somewhere you need this one for the arduino sketch to upload the code and also you need this you need this uh, web address to see your data and uh, to download the excel file and everything now go to hosting tool go to file manager In here, you will get that uh, domain you created. Double click this one. Here, you click create this one and create file. Click this one and type insert.php. Insert.php. This one and click create. and double click insert.php and go to the my web address and we have done already up till here here insert.php this is the file you created and these are the contents you need to put there from until here to here copy this one and go here and paste now click save saved successfully now close you have created first file you need to create two more files so create again click create file now index.php i n d e x click create double click that one now go here this is index.php file starts here so, so select from here until until here copy and go here in this area paste make sure doc type doc type html is here the last line is html close so save saved successfully now you close now one more file to create so click the create button again create file now excel.php e x c e l create now it's here excel.php double click and here you need to paste the whatever here in excel php from here until here copy it and paste it here click save click close now everything is done for the 
web server you have created a free web server and you have created subdomain here nisar mohidin at webpages.com you will have something different you have created three file you already put the whatever contents in the file now website is ready remember this one write it down somewhere and now we can go to arduino ide uh, second step is doing the wiring connection sim module is here the first pin s we don't need to connect anywhere second pin g connected to ground third pin v connected to 5 volt k we don't need to connect anywhere transmit t connected to rx 2 of esp32 receive r connected to tx2 of esp32 the next pin is also ground it connected to ground now for the ultrasonic sensor we need to use us 100 that is the 3.3 volt module regular ultrasonic center sensor won't work we have to use this one uh, ground connected to the ground and echo connected to d26 trick connected to d25 and vcc we need to connect to 3.3 volt and uh, i have shown the picture here you can save it and zoom and see how the connection is third step is to do the arduino ide and the coding uh, we need tiny gsm library this one so we copy this tiny gsm we go to arduino ide and click sketch include library and manage library this will take some time so i am forwarding it uh, when you get the this window in this area type uh, tiny gsm and paste the tiny gsm characters after some time you will get this one when you go below you have tiny gsm by volodymyr skymansky in my case it's already installed and if you haven't installed it there will be install button here and uh, click install after installation complete click close now we need to copy and paste the code go below uh, the arduino code start here copy from here until until end of arduino file copy it and paste it here now we need to do two changes i have shown here need to do two changes the first one is in line number nine line number nine there is a p n i have put my APN in my country, my provider APN. If you use different one, you need to put your APN. You can search using Google and find the APN or I have provided a link here, this wiki APN changer.org. You can go there. There are many countries there. I select Australia and I select Telstra. Here, APN for Telstra is Telstra Internet. So that's why in APN I put Telstra.APN, uh, Telstra.Internet. So you find out whatever you have and delete this one and paste that one. Next step, next change is, is in line number 12, server, 
do you remember when we created a free web server and created the free subdomain i have created this subdomain you put whatever subdomain you created so go there in here line number 12 delete this one put the subdomain you created and that's the code now before you upload for ESP32, you need to put the board manager. For that, you need to click File, Preferences, and click this button. Make sure you have the expressive boards manager. So I have provided in here. So you can copy and paste until JSON. and click OK. Click OK. Now you need to go to Tools, click Board, Boards Manager. It will take some time. When you get this screen, click here and type ESP32. And after that you get ESP32 by Expressive System. It's, I have already installed, that's why I get installed here. If you haven't, you will have the install button here. Click the install button. After installation complete, click close. Now we need to select the board. Click tools again. And boards, click board. And ESP32 Arduino. Make sure you have ESP32 Rover module. And the last step, we need to select the port. Click port and uh, whatever uh, port you are using, I have, I am using COM10. In your case, it may be different. Click the correct port and uh, you can click uh, compile this button or upload. You can upload it. I have already uploaded the code. After uploading, come to the browser and here uh, put the subdomain you created. You remember when we create the free web server and the domain? I created this one and uh, whatever the subdomain you created, you put it here and enter and you'll get the web page with the graph and the data. I've been running for some time. That's why I have some data here and the date and time is here. This is GMT time and if you want to change it to your country time, uh, you need to do a little bit change in the code. The graph is here. When you refresh it, and uh, you'll get the new data. And uh, here I have two date selection. If you want to select different date, for example, 12 and refresh, you don't have any data because it's it's a new one. Now, to download the Excel code, you can select the date here. If you don't put any date, you'll download the today's date. So I'm not putting any date. I, I just download. I click download. And you will download. Oh, yeah, it's already downloaded. And try to open. Here you get a message that the format does not match. This is because when I do the coding, I want to make it simpler. So that's why I didn't format in the coding. So that's okay. You can click yes. You can trust this one. Click yes. Now there's no formatting. There's no grid, this grid and this grid. So you can format by copying all the data here and select and copy and you create a new file in the new file you paste it see now you got the grid and now you can change for example if you want to change this one to 7 yeah it's done and you can add this one you can add all those data and you can do a graph 
or anything you want to do, you can do. And for the sensor, I have used ultrasonic sensor. You can do, you can change the sensor to different sensor and do do the data logging for your convenience. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share as you wish. Thank you.